For many of us, the dangers of COVID may seem like a distant memory, but believe it or not, it's still out there. And there are a handful of patients for whom the pain endures. We're talking about people with long COVID, and it's something that the medical community is still not 100% clear on. Of 500 people that um, responded to our questionnaire, essentially, 30% essentially said they didn't feel recovered from COVID completely. If we, instead we look at what we have, let's say, in our records of primary care, um, there have been about um, 400 people that have been diagnosed with long COVID as such, which might be people that came to see the doctor. It doesn't mean how many people were struggling at home, let's say. So I would say that we're probably looking at 20 to 30 percent of patients who, who have contracted COVID might have still symptoms after 12 weeks. Symptoms of long COVID vary greatly. The most common ones are fatigue, shortness of breath, headaches and muscle and joint pains. But there are others too. Some patients experience anxiety, brain fog, diarrhea and irregular periods. Because of that variety, treatment can be complicated. And no medication has been, of course, approved so far. And the reason is because the symptoms are so different that no medication will suit for everything. So what we do as you know, doctors and what I advise everyone that has symptoms is to go and speak with the doctor. And we, first of all, exclude that there's no any other causes for those symptoms. Because, of course, someone that coughs for more than three months might think, oh, I had COVID, but maybe there is asthma that we're not treated, for example. So it depends on what's the cause of it. So if we think there is asthma, we treat asthma. If there is any other reason for whatever symptoms, we treat that. So it depends. Sometimes we don't have, like for example, for fatigue, for tiredness, we don't have a specific treatment, make sure there's no anemia, there's no any lacking of vitamins. And then we suggested, which had, seems has worked for many, many patients, a kind of like gradual come back to normal activities. That seems has worked a lot. According to the World Health Organization, there are tens of millions of people suffering from long COVID worldwide, around 10 million in Europe alone. Director General Tedros Ghebreyesus has called for investment in research and sharing new tools and knowledge as they're identified to prevent, detect and treat patients more effectively. In global news circles, COVID may have taken a back seat. But for people with long COVID and the medical professionals treating them, the struggle continues.